Lou and Michelle are out and about talking about bear bison this morning. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Yeah, this is one of the most intriguing one. stories that we've told in a while. Bear Bison is the name of this company that has bison here in the Van Meter area. And we said, yeah, bison, a bison farm? And they said, yeah, why don't you come on out and visit? So that's what we're doing. We're out here visiting the bison. Take a look over my shoulder. Look at all the bison that are out here. And these bison are being raised. And yes, it is for, for bison as in food. And they can get that right here at Bear Bison and Robin Sullivan is is uh, joining us here along obviously Michelle is here and uh, Johnny Kennel is here and we are going to have a good time because you really do have uh, what do they call is it a herd of bison is that what they call these yes it is and how many are in the herd I think there's about 250 right now you're kidding me that many no and what did you start with uh, we started with about 350 wow so again you are harvesting some of the bison that's the whole idea here isn't it yes yep and why bison it's super clean. It's very good meat. It's um, just great meat, good iron per, um, supplement. Okay, so it's just a good product all the way around. And is that what really got you into really uh, like raising the bison here in Iowa? Again, right here in central Iowa, you have 250 head over our shoulder. Yeah, so uh, we actually got into it because we started a restaurant called The Protein House. That's another story. But, <laughs> um, and it's a, it's a uh, burger that they make down at The Protein House, and we thought, what a great thing to bring here. And so we started the bison farm. So sourcing it yourself then basically is what you're saying. Yeah. All right, and so how old are these bison uh, behind us? Uh, you know, they range in age, anywhere from a couple babies that we just had this last week. Um, this last week? Yes, yep. There's, I think there's three of them in there that are fresh. <laughs> <laughs> that are new babies? Yes, yep. Okay. And then the older ones? I don't know, Johnny, how old are the older ones? Uh, we have a couple of breeding bulls out there that are uh, six, seven uh, years of age, but... Um, cows that are out there. The That's bison that cows. big guy right in the back, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so the, there is a big guy. The cows range from three to ten years old. So. And, and what's the average lifespan of a bison? A uh, bison can live to 30, between 30 and 35 years. So. Really? Okay. And uh, when you, obviously you're raising these bison uh, for a food source, how old will they be uh, when they're harvested? When we harvest them, we harvest the bulls about three years of age when they're 900 to 1100 pounds. That's, that's a big animal, isn't it, Robin? That's a huge creature. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But this is just one of the, the neatest places you see, and, and they're just very relaxed. And again, they're not in cages, which is what people really like, too, isn't it? Yes. It's not like Yellowstone. You can't get up there and touch them, but they have, definitely have a lot of area to roam. Okay. And you have two, you, you invite people to come out and actually kind of tour and yes. take advantage. You have a beautiful place out here and for people to come out and kind of experience it for themselves. Yeah. So we can take tours. You can schedule a tour online. You can come out and take a tour through the whole it's about 350 acres you can take a tour through and then we have a reception building that you can come in and uh, afterwards and buy some meat buy some apparel okay now if we want to take a tour uh, what's all entail with a tour so if I come out here what time do I need to get here in the morning to take a tour of the bison farm you can schedule a tour whenever you would like oh there's a big dude coming over here we're trying to get okay. him <laughs> you can take a tour anytime Saturdays are a great time to take a tour open most of the day on Saturday and otherwise during the week you can come on. just call ahead and schedule a tour and it takes anywhere from a half an hour to an hour and a half just depending on questions and how much you get into but you take a tour through the whole farm you can go feed the um, the bison as we're doing right now and then come back check out some apparel we have bison sticks and bison bars and then we also have the meat available yeah again they're this absolutely gorgeous creatures and you know at one time uh there were bison uh, everywhere now is it bison or buffalo the, the the difference between the two uh we've talked about it previously on the program but are, are these the type of animals that were roaming across the plains yes it definitely was okay. <laughs> Here, here's now we're talking one of the guys up close so yeah they about Listen. became extinct um i'm not sure when, when it was but there was like less than 600 left in America and so they've gotten the population back up so now this guy came right up here to the fence here comes another one looks like they're coming up to the fence so they're, they're not afraid of people obviously no. which is which is really neat to see and how comfortable they are around people but uh, you I noticed that you didn't reach through and and try to pet them or anything you do you discourage that yeah we definitely discourage petting them it, they are they're large animals and they're still wild so it's you have to respect their so these are considered wild creatures yes yep yeah I, any animal like this with that biggest size you just want to respect their space
Yeah, Chris, if you could turn around this big dude right here, he is absolutely amazing. Johnny, how big do you think that guy is right over there? Uh, he's about 2,500 pounds. That's Big Ben. Oh, yeah, they have names, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we named the Bulls. He looks a lot like Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hard to tell him apart. But now, yeah. now Ben, is, is how old do you say Ben was? Uh, he's about six years old. Okay, so he's going to be around for a while then, won't he? Yep, yep. He'll be uh, a big breeding bull for about 10 years. Wow, so that's a heck of a gig, Michelle, if you can get that, huh? Exactly. <laughs> and this weekend, you guys are inviting everybody out. You kind of have an open house, tailgating, yep. the Iowa games, and so yep. forth. Talk about that so people can come out and actually experience this for themselves. Yeah, we'll be out here. We have a... Uh, in our event center inside, we have uh, TVs, and um, we'll get together for the Iowa and Iowa State game uh, opener. And we'll be giving tours all day long. Uh, we have a hay rack ride that we uh, get all the kids on and go tour all the bison and get up close and personal and get some selfies and learn a bit, little bit about bison. Because this is a very unique type of farm for this. I mean, are there many others in the state of Iowa that are raising bison? Yeah, there's there's probably. 15, 20 farms okay. uh, throughout Iowa with bison. So it's rare, but it is, uh, they're growing. It's growing fast. The numbers are coming back. Um, so, yeah. Well, we invite everybody to come out and see it for the, it's beautiful. And I just live down the road and I haven't been back this far to actually see it for myself either. And it's pretty incredible. You have a beautiful place out here. Now, and Robin, what would you say for, for somebody who's never seen a bison up close like this? Because I've seen them from afar, seen them on TV. <laughs> but when that big dude just walked up here, he is absolutely <laughs> massive. Ben. Big Ben, yes. Um, what would I say? Here comes, uh, <laughs> here comes another one. <laughs> It's Big John. <laughs> Uncle John. <laughs> hey, John, I have a room in my house named after you. Okay? Uncle okay, John. Okay, can okay. okay. you get a pellet? Can you, yeah. can you feed him or not? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Here, John. Here, John. Get a pellet. Get your tongue. Look at his tongue. Check that out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feed him. We're going to feed him until he can. Here, John. There you go. Got it. There. Good job. Now the other guys are coming over here now. Now they want a little something too. So <laughs> don't be afraid of them. They'll be, they'll be okay, Robin. <laughs> Their tongues are gross. I'll feed. I'll feed. You guys talk. Great gigantic tongues on these animals too. But they, he just took it right out of my hand. So that, how cool was that? But you have a chance to do this uh, when you come off for the tours, right, Robin? Yep. Yeah, you get a, get a chance to throw some pellets to the bison and feed them and see them up close and personal. and. Uh, Jason and Johnny and Scott give the tours and they have some a lot of interesting facts and education about the bison. Yeah, folks, this is absolutely amazing. Look at that. I'm going to walk over here. So this one is who? Is this Ben? Is this Ben this Beck? Uncle John. Uncle John. This is John here still? Okay, yeah. sorry, John. I didn't recognize you from the side of your head. But this is John. <laughs> These are the animals you can see up close and it's Van Meter. How far away from Des Moines, Michelle, do you think this is? Oh, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes? It's 20 minutes outside of Des Moines, so and it's easy to find. And then it's a beautiful little rural drive part of it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go back. We're going to go inside. We're going inside next to show you some of the real cool things they have going on inside. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a little bit. Bear bison, and there they are. There's the bison in the field. There's a baby. There's a little baby over there. Get that little baby, Chris. We'll be back. This is Iowa Live, live at Bear Bison.